the extreme close-ups, they really kind of heighten the sense of danger. My father's three mothers? Yeah. The smallest movements are incredibly telling. I think it was a very smart way of showing exactly what's going on without having to say it. Because I think in reality, when you're being interrogated that way and you're frightened and angry and trying to hold everything back, it's uh, mostly about what isn't said. I don't believe you. You do now. The Martian ship is very different from anything else we've seen so far in the show. Mars is a technologically advanced society. We think of Earth and Mars as sort of the old colonies, England and, and America being Mars. Then this is part of the conflict between Earth and Mars. Hey, come on, hey, go! Hey, man! When they electrocuted me, that was really fun when we were trying to be very specific of the amount of shock. So we were off to the side, the director and I, and just doing levels that the device would give me. It took about 30 minutes to find the right amount of <laughs> convulsion. I flew with the Mars Navy for 20 years before I shipped off on the can. So, so you're helping the whoa, whoa, whoa there, chief. Settle down. They let me clean up out of respect. I think what Alex needs at this point is to feel part of something, which is why he lets himself get cleaned up and puts on the Martian uniform. He needs to feel like he belongs to something because, you know, a lot of crap has just gone down. He's kind of a loner, and all of a sudden now he's instantly part of a family again, and that's a big, important deal to Alex. What the hell is this? You join up? Wait, what? That's an option? One of the changes we made from the novels was in the books, Everybody kind of knows each other pretty well at the beginning. It's so much more interesting when the audience is getting to know them as they get to know each other. Who stands to gain if Earth and Mars get into a throwdown? How well do any of us really know Naomi? The Martians, they're trying to incite personal differences so that one of them will turn on the others. Are you OPA? Is Naomi OPA? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm not telling you. That's what I'm going to say to that question. I'm not telling you. You have to watch the show and find out. All right, all right, let's just settle You down. didn't answer my question. We're putting all our cards on the table here. We're kind of playing this game with the audience, and it's a great vehicle to sort of peel the onion a little bit on each of our characters. The whole point is to have you guessing. And if you're guessing, then that's good. I'm Anderson Dawes. You wanted to talk? Jared Harris as Anderson Dawes was a real coup. I mean, uh, he's a fantastic actor, and it was incredible to work with him. This isn't your beat, what you want. Dawes does not like Miller. Dawes first uh, attempts to galvanize him and say, look, um, these are the things that were happening. Why are you turning your back on us? You should be fighting for us. You should be working for me. I'm just curious to know what your rape is, in case I need you to suit up for a different side. What side would that be? Miller hides behind the hat and the earth clothes, and he doesn't want to be a belter, but Dawes says, look at yourself. You are one of us, and until you join us, collaborating with the enemy, and you're part of the problem. I think that under that ridiculous hat, there's a belter yearning to find his way home. The hat is really an identification with the existing power structure on Earth. By putting on that hat, he says, I'm the man. I'm part of the people who tell you what to do. It's a very emotional episode where Avasarala double crosses de Graaf. And I think you really get a window into her soul. I mean, this was a very painful thing for her. De Graaf is a family friend who knew her father. You will do anything to win, just like your father. Whatever is Earth-related, she's concerned with. Therefore, sometimes she needs to scheme. Sometimes she needs to betray even her own, uh, you know, close friends in order to save the Earth. I won't play with you ever again. Earth must come first. <laughs> <laughs>